Good morning. Welcome to another video. God bless you. Today is a blessed day, a beautiful day. Today is Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. We are close to end this month. We had to do good things like reading the Bible, <laughs> like I say it every day. Today, I wanted to share a chapter that I think we need to read more than once because teaches a good lesson. I'm not gonna read it all, but I recommend you to read it all. I already read it all. But if you had the chance and you had a, a Bible, read it all. It has 29 verses and it's a really good chapter. And also to share it with someone that you know. I'm gonna only read from the 13 to the 23. So it's Matthew, Matthew 7, chapter 7, verses from the 13 all the way to the 23. I'm going to be leaving um, the verses on the, on the screen so you can read it also. And we're going to start now. So it says like that. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road is broad, that leads to destruction. And there are many who go through it. How narrow is the gate and difficult the road that leads to life and few find it. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but in worldly and revenging wolves. You will recognize them by their fruit. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from twistles? In the same way, every good tree produces good fruit, but a bad tree produces bad fruit. A good tree can produce bad fruit, neither can a bad tree produce good fruit. Every tree that doesn't produce good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So you will recognize them by their fruit. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? Dry, de dry out demons in your name? And do many miracles in your name? Then I will announce to them, I never knew you. Depart from me. You love breakers. Big lesson. Big lesson. But I recommend you to read it all. The whole chapter. The whole chapter give you a big lesson. Also from the beginning of the chapter, it says, judge not that you be not judged. Only God can judge people. Sometimes you will see people by the look, the way they have the look, and you will judge them. You will criticize them. And you, you're not allowed to do that because only God is the one who can judge any person. You don't know that person's hearts. Maybe you see the person like that that you may think is doing something or wearing something that is not supposed to, but you don't know the heart. Maybe this person is a big person, like follows everything, have big heart, follows all the rules that God says, believes in him, prays his name. You don't know, maybe. God is the only one who can judge. So we are no one to judge another person. The only thing I can tell you is do the right thing. Follow what God is telling you to do. Sometimes when we just start being Christians, we have uh, things that we wear, that we do. Sometimes people say bad words. And from one day to another one, it's hard for them to stop it. But God can help them to do that. 
and they are gonna start feeling little by little, hey, ah, this is not a good way to say this, I'm gonna start saying this, they are gonna start feeling that they're not supposed to do it, or they're not supposed to wear something, that they're not supposed to, they're gonna do it little by little. But if you read the Bible, the Bible will tell you what is right, what is correct to do, what, how to act, how to act with other people. God is the one who's gonna pour that on you to help you to be a better person, to be a better Christian. I recommend you to read the whole chapter. If you're not able to read it once, read half one day, read the other half the other day. But don't stop reading. It's so much stuff in the Bible that we need to learn. So much, so much, so much stuff that we need to learn. Uh, that's why every day I tell you, don't stop reading. Read every day. Even if you read the same chapter two, three days in a row, because sometimes we need to read it more than three times. So you, we can get what God is trying to tell us. Because I can read it in one time, and maybe I didn't get everything that is saying. It's like any other lecture, any other, if you're reading a book, any other book, sometimes you may wanna read it like more than once to get what it's trying to tell you. Same thing with the Bible. We need to read it more than once so we can get everything. And sometimes even like that, we sometimes we miss stuff. That when I go back to the same chapter, I'm like, oh, I didn't get it the other time that I read it. So that's what I, I recommend you to read it every day. So we don't miss time. We don't miss time uh, reading and learning from the Bible. So I hope you have a wonderful day. You and your family, God bless you on anything you're doing today, school, college, university, home, work, anywhere. God bless you, you and your family. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow, Friday. And if you haven't subscribed, consider on subscribing. Give a like if you like it. Share the video, please. Share the video. Because this chapter will help a lot of people. A lot of people. This chapter is very important. I think every Christian needs to read this chapter. So... God bless you. I will see you tomorrow and have a wonderful day. Bye now.